Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Chop Ham here, bringing you my new episode of Aesthetic Spark. And uh, we'll be going over ancient Greek aesthetics and such. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. So, here's a big column, pillar, whatever you want to call it. Made out of two walkway large covers. Uh, those are in the decorative section, 50 budget a piece. So, it shouldn't be much. You can use them to support roofs and stuff and buildings. And I believe I used one in my ionized map, but it wasn't supposed to resemble Greek at all, really. But they look really good. So these are just ruins of... Mm, I don't know. I forget what they're called, but they're just ruins. And you take doors upside down and put them like that. And add some rocks to it, and you will be good. So, um, I like to make paths with these, like, kind of direct someone in a certain direction. Or you can use it to resemble that a building used to be there, form it like that. So that's pretty much it for that. And you want to use that for a more destroyed theme of a map. And, uh, this is a shrine. And it's really simple, but it turns out pretty cool. And there's lots of different ways you can do this. But I use corner 4x4s. Four, four of them merge together. So it makes a shape. <laughs> I forget what it's called. I'm dumb. And uh, I like using team colors for it. To give it that extra little aesthetic spark. You could say. And uh, you want to use a ramp extra extra large as the floor. And 1x1 one one tall and thins for the support. Now these are the first thing I came up with stepping stones and uh, you want to use the same thing that you used to make the ruins and you just put them all the way into the ground just so that part is sticking up you want to try to make it as far in the ground as possible to prevent like bumping when they walk over it but I did it on a relatively less flat land so it was kind of hard to do that this design is made by Evaniel 2 and um it's a ruins of a big column, and you just want to take a teleport frame and cap the top off to uh, make sure the glass is not showing. And uh, this is just a basic kind of feel you want to go for when you're building ancient Greek buildings. Parthenon, I believe that's what it's called. So I just want to use kind of blocks that are of the same type of color. And uh, you want to stick with that roof theme. That's kind of important. That's what the roof were like a lot back for them. And uh, this bridge medium gives it a good accent to it. And uh, that's pretty much it for that. And this was made by Big Deer 153 who's also a member of the channel. So you just want to take a bunch of these 1x4s and merge them till you get your till you're satisfied with what the result looks like. And you just keep putting them in the same place and rotating them a little bit each time to make it like spiky and it's probably about the most you want to get it rounded unless you're going for a completely round thing. I like to have it with jagged edges and stuff. Um, that's pretty much it for that, just, it takes a little bit, and you want to use those the same way that I used for the first pillar, and when you're making any type, any type of, like, natural place, besides just, like, a normal, not normal old Slayer map, you want to try to get a good feeling of the map. I think the island is really good for... Greek, but not as good if you're going for a lot of buildings, and I'll explore the places on Forge World that you might want to make some. This area right over here, you can make a big Parthenon building or such, and uh, it includes lots of trees, which pretty much makes that the best reason to make it over on this island. The beach is great for 
it too depends on what you're trying to go for um, if you want to make your own river pathways and stuff then you want to use that beach waterfall I would totally want to make one there but they had to put an invisible wall there so you can't really do that the cave no you don't want to make a map there unless I'd be surprised if you could but this area is great if you don't mind not having water this this area that I'm showing you right now is probably the best um, area that you can make it the valley no apparently I'm saying yes for this area a small slayer map preferably themed in Greece and uh, pretty much it. I think it's almost over so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, the main areas where you want to build Greek maps are Montana, the island, and this place I'm